Hey, this is a quick uh, explanation for a friend on how to use Adobe Premiere 6.0 uh, video editing software. So, do to do. So that takes a minute or two. Okay, this screen right here opens. Now, I don't know everything about this program, but I do know how to put a video together to put on the internet. So, if you look at all these options, whatever's highlighted on here right now, like say you can close this and you can close this, uh, none of that uh, I don't believe really matters. I hit OK. Alright, so here we are. This is the uh, program right here. Now, what you're going to need is your Firewire. This is, uh, what's it called, 1394 wire, I believe. Now, to capture some video, you go to, uh, see if I can bring that in just a little bit. You're going to go up here to File, Capture, and select Movie Capture. Select that, boom, there's the screen. <clears throat> Let me back it out. Now, there are some settings uh, over here to select the the type of camera you got, like see device control, Sony. See that's that's the kind of camera I have. Are the both Sony's, so it'll it'll capture or use both of them. Come on, baby. All right, hit record. Hit record right here. Okay, so now we are recording this clip right here. Alright, this is a buddy of mine, Brandon, BrandXFreestyle.com, I believe. Young kid, awesome on a motorcycle, riding circles. Alright. Okay, so, boom, capture that. Hit stop after recording, it's going to ask you for a name. So we're going to put Brand X, okay? Uh, hit OK. So now that's been saved. All right, camera is ready. If you if you want to record more clips or longer clips, it's been saved, and it's also see capture location. All this can be edited over here, so you can edit all that, and you can also edit uh, you know settings. It's coming in on the uh, 1394 cable. All right, yada yada yada. So anyway, you've captured a video clip. So close that out. And now the video clip that you just captured is up here, and if you want to, if you click on it one time, it brings it up in a small screen over here. But anyway, we're going to take that, we're going to right click, and we're going to drag it down to the storyboard, I guess is what it's called. And you can put it anywhere, put it right there at the beginning, okay? Now, I'm going to use this clip twice to show how to, uh, oh, how to put, um, make it longer, how to fade it from one clip to another. So anyway, so if you clip, click anywhere on this section right here and move it back and forth, it'll move that clip through there, okay? Now what I've found is I need to shut this camera off in order for the clip to play smoothly because it's now it's trying to input there and it's inputting over here. So on the small screen here, we can, uh, we can play and see it's uh, from the camera being on it's got a small uh, there we go a little hesitation so anyway so there's the clip that we just captured okay it's running from the memory you know of the computer not off the camera all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size of what we're looking at right here cuz you know we can't can't do anything with that so we're going to go down on the uh, on the keyboard hit plus all right when you plus it you're lengthening, you know, you're, you're just zooming into that clip, basically. And what I like to do also is on the audio, you can click that little sucker right there, and it'll drop down and show you all the audio of what's going on, which is real helpful. Now, this section up here, you can cut the clip. Use, you know, you click on that, and you can snip it, and then go back to your arrow to where you can grab and, you know, move it around. Uh... Let me see, this one right here, you can lengthen it, you know, you can stretch it out. If you click that and you go like that, well, all you've done now is you've slowed it down by, now it's playing, you know, 59.83% of its original speed, all right? So, uh, 
I'm going to undo that. Edit, undo the speed change. So boom, it's back to where it needs to be. Now, as you do as you do different things with the video, you're going to need to render it. But first, uh, you need to save it. So we're going to save this as you know, just w whatever it's calling itself. Just save it as that. Okay, so now, uh, oh, let me see. Say you want to take that clip and you want to fade it or transition it into another clip. So you don't want to put them on the same line, okay? So you have to off stack them, and I'm going to hit the minus to shrink it back down. And see right here, this is transitions. That's where your transi dis transitions are going to go. That just transitions from one clip to another one. And up here you've got an option for transitions. So we're going to open that up. And now you've got all this crazy stuff, okay? So we're going to do a, p a page peel right there, okay? And, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. 3D, all you do is click on the arrow and it opens it up. So that happens to be open, so we're going to do a page peel. You click, right-click on that, drag it down, and see how it, it puts it right there, okay? It's the only place it can go is right there. And now this is saying there's not enough time, uh... You know, do you want to put it in there anyway? Because it has to use uh, a little bit of the end and a little bit of the beginning of each clip. So we're going to say OK. Now, in order to view that transition, you have to go up here and click on, I'm going to move this out of the way, click on Timeline, Render, Work Area. Click on that, and now see, it's, it's thinking there for a second. Boom. Now it has uh, added that transition in. So I'm going to take my arrow and put it right to that point and when I hit play you'll see it transition from the from one clip to another here we go huh cool huh okay so anyway so you got that and now you wanna now you wanna put it on the internet so you hit file and what this is what I use there are different ways to do it you can export it to a file whatever but okay export timeline and I go down here to advanced wind uh, advanced windows media you can make a movie out of it and whatever I've made DVDs with this uh, program advanced media for Windows uh, you don't want it too big since this is so small I could do it at uh, 1500 is a good quality okay video for wideband uh, I use these four options right here 256, 384, uh, 67, 68 those four options 1500 that's gonna be your crappiest quality that's gonna be an okay quality if I got a video that's uh, I put it on YouTube, and they only allow 10 minutes, so if it's going to be 10 minutes long, I, I lower the quality because the file will be too big, but th this is not too bad, uh, so I'm just going to use the uh, 7, I use 768, I guess, so that this video, well, I'm going to use 1500, so this video that I'm making will come out, well, it's pretty long also, uh, well, this, this particular clip, I'm just going to use 256, okay, and then it asks you, you know, it tells you what it's doing, ask for a title, yada yada, destination. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to put it in here, fill up video, and see I've got my uh, video of Chris's car, the burnouts, me racing the buddy with the twin turbo, and we're going to name it something. We're going to name it uh, Brandon, because that's the, that's the guy that's riding, okay? Boom, hit save, that's where it's going, and then you hit OK, and now... It's rendering this video. And that's how long it's going to take. It <clears throat> gives you estimated time, shows you what it's doing. All right, now I'm going to wait for that to be done. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to close this out. Uh, save this project. No, I, just, I don't really want to. All right, now we're going to go and we're going to hunt this uh, hunt this file down. All right, put it in the D drive. Duh, duh. And you just go get the file wherever you told it to save the file. Uh, and there it is right there, Brandon. So boom, now, now you've made a video and it's been rendered so the quality is going to be whatever quality you've selected. Alright. And that's it. And then you can take this file and you can put it on the internet, put it on YouTube, you know, whatever you want to do. And there's your finished project right there. Boom, there's transition. 
blah 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 man that's that's basically it there's a lot more that can be done with the program uh, you can uh, oh man you can you can add titles you can uh, gosh there, there's so much but it, it's hard to you know squeeze it all into 10 minutes that I can put on YouTube to show you guys but anyway here's my new hybrid Z shirt that I ordered that's what I'm talking about I uh, hope it helps you out. Uh, that's how you do it right there.